Aha. Batman like that. Come to shove, I'm a bad man. Say you yes, young king, we got one. See you when we eat and then they fool from the pot done. Tell the people hold them heads and eyes up so we can organize the youth to rise up. I'm not a colonizer, sympathizer. Me and all my franchises, been survivors, sons and fathers, meant for progress at all costs. Any minor setbacks is but a small cause. Not enough pressure for me to call the dogs off. I am more the spirit in charge than all y'all. So what is a messiah to a man? You can try and understand what's a lion to a land. I made history, then history began. Black excellence is what we consistently demand. Push your lighters. Who's got the bad man lighter? Fuck up the place now. Who's got the bad man lighter? Fuck up the place. Anywhere I day feel funky. Anywhere my people they feel funky. They point the little fingers and they call me the bad man. My brothers and sisters. Make we roll on the fat one Take us back the revolution This bad man lighter Make us back the change of the nation This bad man lighter And it got me still insane And it got me feel insane Kente, Claude, and Kunta, the ink of an ink of Mensa, Mansa, Musa, from Abidjan to Abuja, I could paint an ambiance over the tuba like Peter Uka, stroke a genius, anti-neo-colonial, thrown a nekis, my E5 ceremonial, selling street weed, made a fortune off the gas, like BP, still in Nigeria, petroleum, thought of work with the Egypt 80, it's like Tucson, meeting Dutch at Bukman, free in Haiti, fucking power, let the people pay me, fly it in the Ebo landing, jamming with an Ebo lady, chase the devil with the Batman light, your favorite rebel in the shadow with a black man plight. Me and Shaun go back like Vodun or Ogun, the king of Nicolapo in the afterlife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smell funny onions getting peeled round here. If it smell funny onions getting peeled round here. If it smell funny, get your onion peeled round here. If it smell funny, get your onion peeled. peeled. I was out in the field since I was little. Never been house cat. I'm from where everyone at. If you come at them backwards, they be where your house at. I don't care about no hoes. Where's your spouse at? Come back to Google and we better. Who cares if it's hard? You gon' have to burn down. You ready to fight? Ready? 
Well, Tommy Aspinall's fans travel well as we get to some early action here. A lot of people believe that this is the future of the heavyweight division, arguably the best submission artist in this division at present, and he believes he's going to be able to get this fight to the floor rather easily here tonight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Push kick there to the body. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Nice jab. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on. his opponent can take it. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. An uppercut this. Oh, nice right oh. hand. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. Aspinall's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's lucky. Oh, what a shot there. He's lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Oberyn versus Ngannou. And you know he's still Oh, All right, so he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count to try to end this fight. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to counters after blocking shots. Nice right punch followed by a left. The horn indicating the end of the round, so potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round, certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. I right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. To the right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Let's go. You gotta open that shot. Let's go. Aspinall's Big knee there. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. And he caught the kick. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice body shot. So far, a frantic pace as expected. 
Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye areas. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show. If, well, well, you gotta think it's only a matter of time. Yup, referee stopping the action here. That swelling is getting out of control. This might be the end, DC. It's bad. I mean, it's a lot of swelling. And it's the damage that he has taken over the course of the fight that is making him swell to a point that I don't know if he can continue. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when you let it continue, especially when you Ready. have a fight that has been as Good. fun as this one to this point. All right, round two. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times. As this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both compromised and they're leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. Oh! by Aspinall. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out himself. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. To the feet now. Aspinall's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. Good round. All right, so we're going to take a look back at some of the replays that caused all of this damage in that previous round. These guys were going back and forth, both throwing real heavy strikes that really did a lot of damage to their opponent. It's an evenly matched fight but one of them has to separate themselves if they're gonna get the victory. All right, so the cut men have done their work. Let us see who can survive as we get ready to start. What could be our final round here tonight? All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's gotta be the whole right, game, though, John. He's gotta be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's... Ready. Ready. All right, five minutes to decide this one. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed. This no, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Well, with that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first one to take a backward step and almost concede that this is too much. Aspinall's cut has really... He turned his entire body. Oh, 